who don't want a curly hair comment down below I know I won't see one comment from anybody that I want to come. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is Speeches October. I have a makeup tutorial for you guys today and it is on this look that's on my eye. I hope that you are interested in seeing how I created, created this look. And if you are, please keep watching. Brows are already done and I, and I use Benefit Precision My Brow Pencil in the shade number four. And for my eyes today, I'm going to go in with use credit as my crease shadow. And I'm gonna go in with the second application to darken up the crease more. And I'll just go and blend it out in a circular motion and also a tapping motion. So after tapping the shadow, I go in with a circular motion to make sure that the colors are distributed the right way. And this basically will give you like a seamless blend. I'll also go in with the shade Ginger. And I'm just gonna blend it just right above my crease. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe M506 brush. It's a tiny, I'm sorry, M507 brush. It's a tiny blending brush. Now that the shadow is blended out, I'm going to go in with my P. Louise eyeshadow base in Roman number two. Roman no. And basically all I'm doing is just blending out the concealer that I just put down. I'm gonna cut my other crease off camera and I'll be right back. So I just took a little brush, blending brush, and I am just blending out the uh, concealer. Okay, so I'm gonna take the shade Soleil. This is one right here. And I'm gonna use my Morphe M167 brush. I'm gonna apply that shadow right in here. Now that I'm done adding the shadow, I'm going to put on an eyeliner. And for today's eyeliner, I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Liner. And I think the shade is, the shade is, I don't know. I will find that information and leave it, uh, and leave it down below. Let me go ahead and use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Mascara. And this is in the shade Lash Brack. I just took the shadows that I used on top of my eyelid and I'm going to be applying it on the bottom. But before I did that, I used my Full Spectrum uh, Gel Liner, I believe. It is a, it's just an eyeliner. It's a, it says here, Full Spectrum Defining uh, Moment. And the shade is FS100. Okay, now that that is done, the eyes are done, I'm gonna move on to my face. For primer, I'm using the Becca First Light Primer Filter. I'm almost out of this, and I really like it. To color correct my face, I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shade Medium, and I'll be using the shade Warm Coral, and also Chocolate. I just go ahead and blend all around my lip. And I'm gonna go in with the dark shade here, like I said, warm chocolate. This will really help to do away with the uh, blemishes and stuff that I have underneath here. And blend out this a little bit. Looks like it's a little too harsh. I'm gonna be using this um, Becca Skin Love Foundation. And this is in the shade Maple. Um, I try I tried this foundation in the past and I didn't like it because I, I bought the wrong shade, I believe. And so I'm trying to see if I, 
like this shade and so this foundation is a weightless foundation this is not a new launch um, it has 1.23 fluid ounces in it so that's more than a usual foundation the description on here says that the foundation um, the foundation is a medium coverage and it is breathable buildable and the finish enhances natural beauty of your the natural beauty of your skin and it is enriched with becca's glow nectar brightening complex vitamin c pita ginger and cold pressed avocado melon blend um it says that the weightless formula boosts radiance and maintains skin natural moisture levels for all day comfortable wear. i'm gonna test it out i'm gonna apply and see how it applies to my skin and uh, I'll be using a brush and the brush that I've been loving recently is this my Sigma brush. It's their Kabuki brush. So I'm just going to dab some of the product right here. So I just did one pump. Man, the lights are so off. It has a pretty nice smell to it. And yes, the foundation is a medium coverage foundation. But the uh, one pump that I squeezed on the back of my hand has covered up my entire face. I'm not sure it's, if it's because of how I um, color corrected before, but it is pretty good. I'm put another squeeze here, not like a full squeeze, but just a little bit and touch up the areas that need more foundation. And that is to so ensure that my smile lines are all fill in and the color does match my complexion i like it i like this uh color Concealer today i'm using my hourglass varnish concealer and i have been using it frequently here on my channel and just a little bit goes a long way i'm gonna take my beauty blender and blend my owner eye Now I'll go ahead with the uh, foundation brush and just go over everything. To set my face, I'm using my Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade Kunafa, and I'll be using that to set my under eye. I'll set my forehead, my grip bow, and my chin area. The Huda Beauty setting powder is one that I've been wanting for a long time and didn't get to buy it. I have been enjoying using it. As an all oil setting powder, I'll be going in with my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder in the shade R520. That's how it looks. And I will be using my Sephora brush number 61. It is their Pro, it's their Pro All Over Powder Brush. Skin looking flawless. All right, and that's that. For bronzer today, I'm gonna to go in with Fenty Beauty Coconutty bronzer on my Sephora brush, num br uh, brush number 80 bronzing brush. Bronze the cheeks. I'm going to finish up bronzing by bronzing my nose, the bridge of my nose. For blush today, I'm going in with Mood Mauve from Sigma. So it will be this blush right here. I'm going to just use my Morphe E48 brush. And I'll dust that away. For lip pencil, I'm using BFF4. And this is the uh, collaboration that Makeup Sheila have with Colourpop. And I'm going to pair that with Colourpop Quickie. To set the face, I will be setting it with, the, with my airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. 
for my highlighter today I'm going in with Jet Girl number 82 from my Jacob So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you love how it turned out and I hope you learned a thing or two. And if you did enjoy this video, please comment, like, and subscribe and also share my videos and follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Dress Your Hair. The hair that I'm rocking in this video is our kinky texture curly hair. And I just use some water. Um, I just use water to have the curls pop and so what I will do, I will be linking down a link so that you guys can see how I define these curls. Who don't want a curly hair? Comment down below. I know I won't see one comment from anybody that 